We're going to be looking today at the sensor drone, which is a very clever little uh, accessory which goes with your smartphone and gives your smartphone some incredibly powerful sensor uh, features. It's a little box, which is quite dinky, it's designed to go onto a keychain, hence the loop at the end. It was actually a, a Kickstarter project and uh, smashed through its targets, made by a company in America which specializes in sensors, uh, standalone sensors, which cost quite a lot of professional use. And they decided to produce something which would work with Android, um, initially Android and, and uh, subsequently iPhone smartphones. The idea is this sensor contain this box here contains a number of different sensors, including light and gases, and magnetic and thought sort of sort of sensors you don't get as standard in a smartphone. And by connecting to the phone via Bluetooth, you are able then to have a complete dashboard for various purposes. So, how does it work? Well, first of all, you need the trusty smartphone. And then what you need to do is to install one of the, uh, well, no, first thing you need to do is actually put Bluetooth on, which is very helpful. And of course, pair it with the, uh, with the system. And then you'll need to install one of the apps. Now, the really cool thing about this, this product is it's going to be delivered with a series of, of a growing library of apps covering the sensor capabilities of the phone. So at the moment, um, the early, early uh, versions come with the base sensor drone control. And the sensor drone, con sensor drone control is used, of course, to, to give you an overview and a dashboard of all the the sensors. So if I do a scan to connect, it will search for Bluetooth devices and switch the sensor drone on. The early versions of the product had a bit of a problem in that the standby, the battery standby was so small that it would run out of juice within a, uh, a day. They've subsequently, um, to their credit, released uh, a bunch of updates, firmware updates, and those updates have really changed things so the, the actual unit now stays alive a lot longer, um, three days or so. The only slight problem is occasionally you do get still problems with the Bluetooth as the, the product fails to connect properly because the Bluetooth is not uh, linking in. You can see it as you can see, and what it should be doing is, there you go, it's, it's, it's now seen it. So we're now connected to the phone and I can now ask, query the, the unit, the sensor drone for information. So for instance, we can get an ambient temperature, humidity, the pressure, barometric. Um, there's a temperature gauge, which actually gives you temperatures depending upon where you're pointing, a luminance calculator, which as it says there is calculated, um, which is working obviously on, on, there you go, on a sensor on the unit, on the sensor drone. Precision gas, uh, looking for parts per million of, of particular gases. And again, there are I'll show you in a second, there are separate apps which deal with those. Proximity, this is uh, where the magnetic aspect of it comes in where you can look for sunken cables and that kind of stuff. External voltage. Um, altitude, if should you be <laughs> in an airplane. And the battery voltage is for the, the unit itself. Now each of these is, is, doesn't just come with a standard thing, but you can actually get readouts. So this will read over a period of time as you have the unit set in a particular location or doing a particular task, which is very clever. You charge the unit up via, can you see that? This little micro USB port, 
and these other ports are just sensors so there's nothing else to do with it really I mean there is a, a socket here for which I think is for programming in, um, and adding further apps and things I'm not really that certain about it um, the units can be changed according to your liking so Fahrenheit Celsius um, Kelvin atmospheres all that kind of stuff feet meter so you have a, a nice set of, of uh, controls to uh, change things around for your own particular environment and apart from that it's really just down to the apps the unit is a dumb unit unless you just throw apps at it so uh, let me see if I can find another app somewhere there's a reducing gas sensor uh, scan, uh, scan to connect now this part is not that elegant it should really be connected period but but it seems to be that you each app requires I suppose because you're not going to be using well you, you might use multiple apps at the same time but the, the idea is you connect for each device um, for each app and again you know we have this sort of strange problem which I find a little dodgy that it won't so if I can I disconnect not currently connected so let's scan to connect again you can see the blue lights flashing so the Bluetooth definitely working with the phone maybe I have to switch off from the other app first these are little teething problems which you know you get with Kickstarter pro projects obviously um, annoying as they are right there it is no okay so I think I'm gonna to have to disconnect from the the control so disconnect so you have to disconnect from each app and then reconnect There you go, connect it now. And this is sensing the ambient gas sense, uh, gas parts per million of gas in the environment around me. And if it flashes and, and bleeps and does all sorts of crazy things, I'm leaving because it's quite clearly a hazardous environment. I suspect it won't though. But the, the interesting thing is each of these little apps represents an actual piece of hardware equipment which the company actually makes individually which you can buy so this is in Geiger counter mode so I can wave it around and it should change there's nothing serious going on in this room thank goodness and then I can again like the control I can I can set a graph going to track over time Yes, each of these apps, let's switch that noise off. Each of these apps represents a piece of hardware that has already been made, which you can buy separately and quite expensive to be honest with you. So this makes this little gadget and your smartphone quite a useful little tool. Um, if you have a particular need for these kind of sensor applications, even though they're adding more and more sensors to smartphones nowadays, you're just not gonna get the kind of sophisticated and really accurate products that you get in this particular package. It's a really nice idea. Um, they've obviously taken a lot of care uh, and attention over actually the quality of the build. It's, it's, it's solid and it's nicely done. There are the, the little wrinkles with the Bluetooth still exist, which is unfortunate. There's a little reset button if you get caught um, and need to do a full, full uh, system reset. And I, as I, I think the, the, the important thing about this product is the company behind it is clearly very dedicated to rolling out improvements to it over time they've already re released three firmware updates which you you do via your computer and the USB port um, to improve the, the battery capabilities and other uh, parts of the of the package and they're releasing apps at a prodigious rate so there's a, I think there's a probably about four no five or six or seven maybe more by now I haven't looked recently apps in the um, Android App Store and this all the while while they're concentrating on producing the iPhone version of the product as well so they're really committed to making this product better and better which is a great sign so 
rather than than my usual disparaging comments about Kickstarter pro Kickstarter projects, I have to say that this is one that has actually produced the goods, and it's a nice little package indeed. So the sensor drone. Uh, if you're into anything to do with with your environment and sensors and all those bits and pieces, then I highly recommend you take a look at this project from SensorCon. Thank you. As ever, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we like you. Thanks. Bye.